when humiliation comes, be calm and determined. When embarrassment comes, be calm and determined. Be calm and determined. When insult comes, be calm and determined. The law seemed to take his time to consider her request in order to test her faith. The Bible says she was calm, determined. What you are looking for? You begin to say, I have Eddie, I have Eddie, heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me. God is not a man. He's not there. He's not done. The law may be taking his time to consider your request in order to test your faith. When trouble comes, be calm and determined. Face your neighbor. God is not a man. Each time you say, in the name of Jesus, heal me. And healing is not forthcoming. The Lord may be taking his time to consider your request in order to test your faith. When sickness comes, be calm and determined. When you pray for blessing and the blessing is not forthcoming, the law may be taking his time to consider your request in order to test your faith. Be calm and determined. What is the meaning of being calm and determined? That is, keep pressing in his own name, in his own time. There is no way you can press in his own name, in his own time, without being full of faith. To press in his own name, in his own time, is to be full of faith, is to be full of humility, is to be full of modesty, is to be full of perseverance of the saints. I want you to face your neighbor now and give this warning to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, neighbor. when you pray for healing, you pray for healing. And, the healing and the healing is not forthcoming. The Lord may be taking his time to consider your request in order to test your faith, be calm and determined. Lesson to learn from this Canaanite woman. The Lord seemed to take his time to consider her request in order to test her faith. She was calm and determined. Lesson. When you pray for healing, Don't doubt his ability to heal. As a man of vision, accept the outcome of your prayer. Viewers, I know you have been praying for a certain thing. You want Jesus to do something. And you have been praying, fasting, 
the prayer you have offered, the fasting you have done in the past are not lost. The Lord may be taking his time to consider your request in order to test your faith. Be calm and determined. Right now, I want you to begin to discuss the one who is fighting for you. Tell your neighbor, begin to discuss, tell your neighbor, the one who is fighting for you. Instead of your battle, instead of your difficulty, instead of your trials, begin to discuss, begin to discuss. I'm redeemed. Defeat and failure are things of the past. Jesus is my redeemer. He's my healer. He's my healer. He's my friend in love. He's my companion. He's my partner. Begin to confess it. Begin to confess it. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. I want to take you to that first Samuel 17, verse 45. David said to Philistine, You come against me with sword and spear and javelin. Verse 47. All those gathered here will know that it is not by sword. It is not by humiliation. It is not by fight. It is not by embarrassment. It is not by stature and your appearance. Even before the war started, David had begun to celebrate because he was a man of vision. Are you here to talk about the one fighting for you? Or you are here to talk about your battle? What are you here for? What are you here for? What are you here for? Tell your neighbor, I'm here to discuss the one who is fighting for me instead of my battle. I'm here to discuss the one who is fighting for me instead of my problem. Yes, if we are here to discuss the one who is fighting for us, we are to be filled with faith. Keep pressing in his time, in his name. Are you ready to keep pressing in his name? Let me see your excitement. Amen. The woman was full of faith. She was full of humility. She was full of perseverance of descent. Right now we begin to open our mouth and ask the Lord to grant unto our soul the spirit of perseverance of the sin. Right now, open your lips, Father Lord. Grant unto my soul the spirit of perseverance of the sin. Total submission to your will. Prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. We are here to discuss the one who is fighting for us. Who is the one fighting for you? Jesus. You with him. Jesus. Ha! 
Hallelujah. Right now, open your lips and say, Lord, Lord. I know you will take time to consider me in order to test my faith. I know. I know. I will remain calm and determined. The outcome of your prayer, are you ready to accept? You have confessed to Jesus to take time to consider my request in order to test my faith, in order to test whether I'm strong or not, whether I can stand the test of time or not. It is for my own good love. Stretch your hand to the viewers, those who are under the influence of this program. Let the weak say. Let the weak say, I am strong. In Jesus' name. Let the poor say, In Jesus' name. Right now, begin to speak to the viewers, those who are under the influence of this program continue to discuss the one who is fighting for you instead of your battle tell the viewers those who are under the influence of this program continue to discuss the one who is fighting for you instead of your battle in Jesus' name we pray. I stretch my right hand. Pray for those who are under the influence of this program. I'm not the healer. Jesus is the healer. Receive in Jesus' name. Receive in Jesus' name. Receive in Jesus' name. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. I declare freedom. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Emmanuel, viewers, thank you so much for joining us once again for another service here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Lagos, Nigeria. And we know that wherever you are in the world watching, you've been blessed, you've been touched, you've been encouraged in your faith, ready to keep God's word in your mind, in your mouth, and in every conversation that you have. We received a wonderful message from the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, titled, A Man of Vision. And the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, said that a man of vision is a man of faith. He is always driven by Christ's spirit of hope for a better future. He is full of faith, full of modesty, full of humility, perseverance, patience, and endurance. And if you are a man of faith, whatever is seen, what your circumstances look like, what people say, what people do, concerning your relationship with God cannot affect your vision. Instead of uh, tension and pressure to reduce your vision, it will even enlarge your strategies. That is why opposition makes a man of vision to develop and to discover better strategies. And uh, I believe after receiving this message in the midst of your heart, you too are ready to be that man of vision who is full of faith, full of perseverance, full of endurance, which are the essential characters of a man of vision. And we saw the example the man of God used about the Canaanite woman in that book of Matthew 15. And you know that the path of the Canaanite woman might have been very rough, but she did not allow this consciousness 
to rob her of the healing she would receive in Christ's pardon. I mean, look at what happened. First, she was ignored by Jesus. Second, she was equated to a dog. I mean, what low esteem is that? But she never allowed that immediate situation or circumstance she was in to dictate her direction. She never allowed that situation to dictate her direction. So whatever situation you may be in viewer, it may be a situation of poverty, it may be a situation of injustice, it may be a situation of sickness, don't allow that situation you are in to dictate the direction of your prayer. As a man of vision, accept whatever is the outcome or the results of your prayer because the Lord may take time to consider your request because he wants to see if you're going to be able to stand the test of time once you receive that blessing, that healing, that breakthrough that you are seeking. So as a Christian, when trouble comes, be calm and determined. When sickness comes, be calm and determined. When in, uh, injustice comes, be calm and determined. That is, keep pressing in his name, his time, and his way. And we believe that you two, wherever you are watching this, you two have received, because distance is not a barrier to the Holy Spirit. So if you have received uh, healing, blessing, breakthrough, deliverance after being under the influence of this program, we encourage you to send your testimonies to us uh, at info at Emmanuel.tv and we believe these testimonies that you sh uh, share with us is going to build and increase your faith because when God sees you through a battle it is right for you to say thank you Jesus and glorify him so we encourage you wherever you are to send your testimonies of what Jesus Christ has done in your life and we had many foreign visitors who came from around the world. We would just like now to ask uh, one of them their experiences and what they really learnt during the service today. So we, we have uh, someone who has come all the way from India to join us and uh, we know that you've been blessed, touched, encouraged. Sir, can you just uh, tell us your name, your profession and what you really experienced? Um, my name is Anil. I have come from India. It's been a blessing to me. I am really blessed to meet the wonderful man of God. I have ever heard such a type of man of God, ever saw such a type of man of God, and I'm really blessed. And uh, the message what he spoke today, wow, it really enlightened me. It really changed the way I think. Though I, I, I'm a businessman, I generate power. At the same time, I'm an evangelist. I preach the word in India. And this is for such a time as this God has sent me to this place to learn of this man of God how to live by faith. Are you getting this? The faith is always shown. People talk about faith, but I, I saw faith here through the prophet T.B. Joshua. I'm so blessed to be here and a part of here. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, we thank God for, for what uh, he has done in the life of our brother here. He came all the way from India. He says he's been blessed by the message. He's seen faith in action. He learned that as a man of faith, you must be content with whatever comes after your prayer. You will accept whatever is the outcome of your prayer because you know that God is not a man who lies. So viewers, we know that wherever you are, you've been blessed, touched, encouraged by the message you have received, by the things you have seen. And you're going to go out there, go back to your workplaces, go back to, you, to your friends and family to spread the message that you have received and to keep God's word in your mind, your mouth, and in every conversation because his words are your weapons. And remember the final word of encouragement that the man of God gave us that uh, as a Christian, whatever we face, are we going through sickness, trials, troubles, poverty, injustice, keep calm and be determined. Meaning, keep pressing in his name, his time, and his way. Because as a man of faith, the prayers you offered in the past, the fasting you did in the past, they are not lost. Surely they will come back to you 100-fold at God's appointed time. you
you're about to watch may not be suitable.